Let's try this example, example 5.1.2. Find the area between the curve y equals x squared minus 4x and y equals minus x squared plus xx. Give a sketch of the region, including all intersection points. So I have an upward parabola and a downward one, and I want to find the area that they um, enclosed. All right, so what I usually like to start with is to find all intersection points. That's going to tell me um, how these parabolas intersect and probably going to tell me what the bounds of inter interse um, integrations are. All right, so I want to find my intersection points. I want to know when x squared minus 4x equals minus x squared plus 6x. Um, let me send everything to one side. I get 2x squared minus 10x. Careful with dividing. If you're dividing by x, you're losing one of the solutions here. What I like to do is I like to factor, and then I know that if a product is equal to 0, one of the terms is 0. So either x is 0 or x minus 5 is 0, which means that x is 5. All right, so if x is 0, then y is 0 squared minus 0 is 0 as well. And I plugged it into this one, but really um, both should give you the same value since they're intersection points. And at 5, I'm going to plug it into this one as well. 5 squared minus 4 times 5. I get 25 minus 20, I get 5. All right, so let's sketch the two curves. Um, they intersect at 0, 0. And at 5, 5, so right about here. In this case, I know that one is an upward parabola. I know one is a downward, so I can place them right away. But um, let me pretend like I don't know this. And I'm going to try to test which one's on top, which one's underneath. I know they only intersect at these two points. And so if a curve's on top, let's say at 1, it's going to be on top for the entire time. And so I'm only going to have to plug in one point. I'm going to plug in, you can plug in any point between 0 and 5, not 0 and 5 because they're going to give you the same value. So I'm going to plug in my favorite um, easiest integer there. I'm going to plug in 1. So on this curve, I'm going to get 1 minus 4. I'm going to get minus 3. So at 1. Um, the first curve is at minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, is right about here. Oops, sorry. Now, if I try the second one, the second curve is minus x squared plus 6x. And so if I plug in 1, I get minus 1 plus 6, I get 5. All right, so while the first curve is at minus 3, um, the second one is all the way up at 5. All right, so it's pretty clear. Um, let me label this one uh, in blue. So the blue curve is going to be way up top, and then the green curve is going to go down. OK, so now that I have um, solve for these and tested everything, I know that the region looks something like that. I mean, it doesn't need to be very precise. I just need to make sure that I have the right intersection points and the right curve above and below. Okay, so here we figured out that this one was bottom and this one was top for the whole interval from 0 to 5. All right, so at this point, we're ready to set up the integral to find the area of this region R. So we always say it's from A to B, top minus bottom, dx. And so top, that would be blue, so it's minus x squared plus 6x. And bottom, that's the green, so x squared minus 4x. And then I have to figure out what a and b are. a is going to be the smallest x value. So here, that's the smallest 
x value. And then b is 5 biggest x value for the whole region, right? So I go from 0 to 5. And so that's going to be my a, that's going to be my b. So from 0 to 5, and that's the integral. All right, so let's evaluate it. Minus 2x squared um, plus 10x. Often we'll just tell you to set it up, not evaluate. So then you stop right here. Um, because really those integrals are not super interested. interesting. Sorry, <laughs> they're not interesting. All right, from 0 to 5. I'm going to plug in 5. That's going to give me 125 times 2 minus 250. 25 times 5, uh, 125. And then I plug in 0, and I plug in 0. I actually computed it before. It gives you 135 thirds. All right, so that's the actual area of this region.